Hello guys, welcome to our today's lesson. I'm going to look at uh, assumed mean. That is what I'm going to discuss in this presentation. And we are going to do uh, a number of things. First of all, we are going to uh, work out the mean. Uh, secondly, we'll do the variance. And the third thing that we are going to do, we are going to wind up uh, by doing uh, the standard deviation. So this is what uh, uh, we are going to discuss in this uh, presentation. I warmly welcome you to our today's uh, lesson. And if you, are, if you are very new to this presentation, if you are very new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. Now, we have a question that says um, we have been given a distribution of marks. Um, and uh, these are the marks that were scored by 50 um, uh, students in our test. Now, by using uh, the assumed mean um, 62, that is our assumed mean, uh, assumed mean of 62, uh, calculate the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. So what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to come up with a table like the one I have here. Now, this table, we are going to uh, use this table to help us get um, uh, the, the uh, required information that is going to help us work out the mean, uh, the variance, and the standard de deviation. So first of all, we are going to have a column for the uh, marks, column for the marks. This first column is going to take um, uh, the marks. This is the column for marks. And then we have another column for uh, frequency. This one is for frequency. And we have another column uh, that is going to stand for uh, the midpoint X. In this case, X is our midpoint. Midpoint, X is the midpoint. And of course, we are going to work out our D. We are going to work out our D by taking um, uh, the... Uh, the midpoint that we obtained and then we take away the assumed mean and then uh, this other this other column is going to have uh, what we obtained here the d's we are going to have uh, to square the d's and then after that we multiply the uh, frequency with the uh, uh, d squared uh, this one will help us work out uh, the variance and also we have got um, uh, uh, f of uh, uh, d, f of d. This will also help us work out uh, the mean. Now the marks are, the marks are starting from 45 all the way to uh, 49. Then we have 50 to 54. We have um, from 55 all the way to 59. Then uh, we have 60 all the way to uh, 64, uh, 65 all the way to uh, 69. And then we have uh, 70 all the way to uh, 74. Uh, we have got um, uh, 75 all the way to uh, 79. Uh, those who scored... Uh, uh, between 45 and uh, 49 were three students we have 9 13 we have uh, 15 uh, we have um, 5 uh, 4 and lastly we have uh, 1 so for us to be able to get the midpoint we are going to take um, uh, the, 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 the we are going to take uh, the range that is uh, we are going to take uh, 45 we get the sum of 45 and 49. After getting the sum, we divide that by I2. So what we're going to get is our midpoint. For example, uh, 45 plus uh, 49, this one is going to give us 94. So when we divide 94 uh, by 2, uh, we shall get uh, 47. We do the same, uh, 50 plus 54 divided by 2, we get uh, 52. We proceed, we get 57, we have 62, and then we have 67, and then uh, we proceed to 72, 
then we have 77. Uh, now the D, for us to be able to get the D, which is the X, we take away the assumed mean and uh, our A in this case is uh, 62. So we are going to take uh, 47. Uh, we are going to take away uh, 62 from uh, 47. If you take away 62 from 47, you're going to get a negative answer. And this time round, it is going to be negative 15. You do the same, you get a negative answer, negative 10. Uh, you do the same, you get a negative answer, that is negative 5. Uh, when you do this, it will give you 0. This one will give you a positive answer, that is positive 5. Uh, you proceed, this will give you positive 10. And uh, our last, uh, our, our, our 77 and 62 will give us, um, um, it is going to give us positive 15. When we try to square this, uh, obviously the negative is going to disappear. Then we'll have a positive answer that is a 225. 225, that is what we're going to have. And here we have uh, 100. When we square this, we have 25. This is 0. This is 25. Uh, this is uh, 10. This is going to give us 10. This is going to give us 100. Then uh, we have positive um, 225. What about f of d? f, uh, f uh, d squared. This means the frequency we multiply by the d squared. So it is going to be 3. You multiply by 225, which is going to give us uh, 675. You do the same. 9 multiply by 100. We are going to get um, uh, 925 by uh, 13, it is going to give us uh, 325, 0 by 15, it is 0, 25 by 5 uh, is going to give us 125. Then we proceed uh, to uh, 100 by 4, it is going to give us 400, then 225 by 1, uh, we shall get 225. Of course, we are going to get the total uh, down here. There is a space for the totals. And be, but before we do that, let's work out f of d. That is frequency. You multiply by d. Our d, remember, is here. And our frequency is here. So it is going to be 3. We multiply by uh, negative 15. We shall get um, negative 45. And then uh, negative 10 by um, by 9, it is going to give us negative 90. We proceed to negative by uh, 5 by uh, 13, it's going to give us negative 65. Then 0, uh, 0 by uh, 15, we shall get 0. Then 25 um, by 5 is 25. Then 10 by 4 is 40. And then 15 by 1 is 15. So if you put all this information in your calculator, try to get the sum negative 45 plus negative 90 plus negative um, uh, 65 plus 0 plus 25 plus 40 plus uh, 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 this 15. Uh, you surely get um, the sum of uh, the sum of f uh, d is going to be f of d is going to be negative 120 negative 120 what about the sum of f of d squared f uh, d squared the sum is going to be um, uh, le this this is 675 plus 900 plus 325 plus 125 plus 400 plus 225 uh, this one is going to give us um, uh, 2,650. Uh, I've already mentioned that um, uh, the, uh, the, the, the sum of the frequency here or the number of students um, the number of student, uh, students uh, here is uh, 50. They were 50. So this is the information that we require for us to be able to work out number one, the mean. 
remember we are going to use the assumed mean to work out the mean so we are going to say that uh, for part one part one that the mean the mean is going to be uh, the assumed mean that we have been given plus uh, the summation of f of d then we uh, divide this by uh, the sum of frequency that we have and what is our a our a is uh, 62 plus uh, what is our um, our a is 65 and then uh, we have got our sum as um, negative um, negative 120 you divide by um, 50 negative 120 you divide by 50 you divide by 50 so we work out uh, this part uh, first of all uh, this is a uh, 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 negative 120 divided by 50 is going to give us negative 2 point uh, uh, negative 2.4 so we are going to take 62 then we subtract um, uh, these uh, uh, 2.4 2.4 that is the result we get after dividing a uh, summation of f of d over the summation of frequency so our mean is going to be 59.6 this is our mean the mean is 69 uh, 59 i'm sorry the mean is 59.6 we proceed to the second um, uh, part uh, that is uh, variance variance work out the variance and for us to be able to work out the variance then we'll have to say uh, the variance is in fact the variance is the summation of f uh, of d squared we divide by uh, the summation of f then we are going to take away uh, the square of um, the square of um, our the square of our mean the square of the mean that we obtained the square of the mean that we obtained that is the square of uh, the summation of f of d we divide by uh, the summation of f then we square this so this is how we work out um, uh, the the variance and what is uh, our f of d squared we all know that it is 2650 you divide by the uh, total frequency which is 50 then you take away uh, the summation of f of d over the summation of f we worked out that one and we were able to get negative 2.4 negative 2.4 so we are going to square uh, this negative uh, 2.4 we square it then uh, if we divide these, we are going to get, um, uh, we surely get uh, 53, 53. So, 2,650, you divide by 50, you'll get uh, 53. Then you take away the square of uh, a negative 2.4. It is going to give us um, uh, 5.76. So, when you do this, when you subtract, will get uh, 47.24 uh, and this is our variance this is our variance uh, the last part of this uh, question remember it is a 10 mark question the last part which is C uh, is to work out the standard deviation standard uh, deviation standard deviation standard deviation and how um, how we're we going to do that we already have our variance so the standard deviation the standard deviation is in fact the square root of variance the square root of variance will give you the standard deviation so we're going to find the square root of 47.24 if we put this information in our calculators uh, and uh, you express your answer or you write your answer in four significant figures we're going to get um, uh, the answer as uh, 6.8 uh, 
seven, three. This one is in four uh, significant figures in four significant figures. And uh, that is our answer. Thank you so much for watching this uh, presentation. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, uh, comment, and share this video to as many of your friends as possible. Uh, more is coming, more is on the way. So keep an eye, uh, do not uh, uh, touch uh, your, uh, your, your dial. Thank you so much. Until we meet again, bye-bye.